Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to remove or mount V-belts to a pulley without uh, loosening the tension and or uh, the alignment. <clears throat> this method can be used on many applications, uh, sizes and whatsoever. Um, it's something I primarily use uh, at my work where we have very big drive trains Big, big uh, belt pullers and belts um, in 6, 8, 10 meters in length. Uh, and where we don't want to, to uh, adjust or, or um, need to realign the, the motor or the, the thing it's driving. When you're doing this, you really need to pay attention where your fingers are against the belt pulley. And because you often has quite a mass to move, you can easily get your finger stuck and it won't stop and then you can break your finger or in worst case it will cut off. So it's a very good idea to do it yourself and not have a, a co-worker or similar pulling or um, moving the, the belt pulleys to help you. Because then it's it's easy to to uh, get caught up. The first belt uh, is easy. You just put it on the the belt pulley and always put it on the smallest first. And then you just put the belt up in the uh, V groove and then turn it, and then it will fall in. That's the easy part. Now we need to get the the belt over to the next um, groove and then we need some sort of tool to to uh, to push it over a screwdriver is a perfect tool for this you just put it under the belt and just let it sit in the, the next uh, groove and then you just turn it slowly like this and then you have to move it. You can see here it's, it begins to twist. So it's important you don't get it um, to change direction. Then it can twist many times. So back up a little bit and then it will go back to the, 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 the true orientation. And this we will do in the bottom as well. If you have a, a, a wide pulley with a lot of grooves in it, you can put the, the, the rearest belts on the first and let them drop down to the shaft and then do it from the other side and then let them meet halfway. So we need to move further to the next one, like so. A shorter screwdriver might be helpful here. I think I will find a more suitable tools tool. And then again at the bottom. Like so. And then we put 
another belt on. The tension isn't that high on this setup, so I can actually move it by hand. But again, pay attention where your fingers are because if they get caught up, it hurts your finger a lot. Another one. Sometimes, if the belt isn't um, has too much tension, you can you can jump one or two tracks or grooves at once. But it's better just to take one here, one below, and slowly uh, move to the middle. And then we just need the last one. And then it's a good idea to spin it around and see if they are 100% straight and not twisted. then they won't last very long. This is looking good and um, the tension is also fine. So I won't do anything about that. It's important they are not too tight and of course they can't be too loose. Then they will flex and, and um, they will wear out quickly. You will have uh, unneeded wear on the pulleys and the belt will also interfere with each other and suddenly it will break. And if one is breaking and get caught up in the belt pulley, all the other will break and fall off as well. And of course, if, if they are too tight, you will have unnecessary wear on the, the spindles in the machine and in the motor. So it's, um, it's something you need to check, check once in a while. And you can hit them and see how tight they are or twist them. Then you should be able to twist them. 90 degrees without any problems. Or as you can have some tools you can push against and it will show you how tight they are compared to the, the specs. But normally you can easily feel if they are too tight or too loose. That uh, was what I have to say about putting on belts on a belt pulley where the motor uh, hasn't been released in its uh, tension. Of course you can do this in other ways, but uh, it's the way I do it. If you have a, a bit more space, a regular screwdriver is good, or else some sort of little pry bar or, or something you can get between the, the belt and in the next groove. And then you can push it further away, as you see. I hope you can get some help out of this. 
Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.